Okay, boys and girls, well, we finished up with the picks. You can just watch them now, all my faithful followers. Uh, as you can tell, I'm in uh, my casual gear because we're at the life coach's house getting ourselves uh, um, all prepared for the last stretch here for the NHL season after the trade deadline, having our Nutella bass, getting our naps in, getting our um, self focused on, on the ratios of what those need to be for each, because each individual is different. Some people need 12 naps, some people need 15 naps, some people need to never wake up. Yeah. And I uh, know you got to fit in the realm of clocks, you got to fit in. It is quite the ordeal, and we all get around, we t sit around holding hands, talking to the Creator, allowing this information to come into our souls. And another thing that happens when we do that is I can tell you about these fine trades that happened yesterday, which this Tampa Bay New York Rangers trade was amazing. What a, like, Stevie Eiserman is not the finest in the land or what? He is incredible. What he can do with the, what he is doing with the team. Now he has all people underneath him that are doing well, but he had to put them there. He was the manager and uh, they, as a group, they are creating probably what the, what the closest thing besides Pittsburgh that we've seen in a dynasty for years. Uh, this looks like a team that could never stop being amazing. Ryan McDonough, JT Miller. Now, that's fantastic, right off the get-go. Uh, for Vladislav Nemeshnikov, which our Nemeshnikov, as, as they like to call him, as he likes to call himself, actually. <laughs> but uh, Nemeshnikov, who has been an up and down player for them for years. Um, he's a good defensive player. He's a good all around player. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Nemeshnikov, but he has been up and down. He has been inconsistent. And he has been a guy they've been talking about trading for quite some time. So it's kind of a guy off the roster that they weren't really afraid of losing for a while now. And you're getting Ryan McDonough and JT Miller. Now, Ryan McDonough is a, an unrestricted free agent next year, but you get two playoffs with Ryan McDonough on a roster that they already have. 2018 first round pick, they're flush with prospects already. A conditional second round pick, probably depending on how far they go in the playoffs, which will be far, so they're likely gonna have to give up a second in 2019. Brett Howden, who is could be a second, probably a third liner, always picked for Team Canada. Guys like that almost always play. Okay, so they are giving up something here. And Libor, Libor Hajek, or Hayek, ha, I think it's Hajek, is uh, a guy that they coveted quite a bit, I think in the 2016 draft, if you correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so much so that they traded D'Angelo, who at the time was considered a pretty darn good prospect and the New York Rangers have right now for him. Uh, D'Angelo was a much more progressed prospect at the time, so they really believed in him a lot. I believe in him a lot. He's probably going to be a top four defenseman. Now, it's, it's, that's a lot to give up, but not a lot to give up for what they got. You are going to be a Stanley, uh, pro, you are going to be the favorite for the Stanley Cup for the next two years with this trade. Simple as that. Um, it, you're going to have a hard time finding a place for JT Miller. That's how stacked they are up front. Um, I'm just going to pull up Tampa Bay here, and we'll go through exactly what they did. What they, what, where, where's JT Miller going to play? Um, you've got Yanni, you, up, up the middle, you've got Stamkos, you've got Point, you can put Gorday there, you got Tyler Johnson, you can move Tyler Johnson to the wing, you can, you can put... Miller on the right side on the third line, second line, first line, and then you're going to have Callahan probably as your spare forward. Are you kidding me? This is, or maybe Corey Conacher is your spare forward, or Cedric Paquette. All of these guys would be easily third line players on other people's teams, and they're being used as spare parts here in Tampa Bay, and they pick up Miller. Like, then, for your top four defensemen, Hedman, Strawman, Sergachev, and McDonough, there's nobody in the East that's even close to that. Not even close. 
Um, Boston would be maybe the best. Maybe think if you think of another team, put it down on the bottom. Philadelphia will be eventually close, but they're not there yet. And you take Girardi and Coburn as your five, five six. This is an incredible lineup. I, I, if they don't win the Stanley Cup this year with that lineup, even with what Winnipeg did, it would be. It's going to be a disappointment. It'll be a disappointment. That's how stacked they are. And if you can have an opportunity to make your team that stacked, you don't turn it down. And uh, I'm, I'm just amazed that they actually got both of those players. Just for McDonough, I would be talking like this right now. If they just got McDonough with that, with those players, I would be saying, this was a good, great. This was a great trade. You throw J. I don't know how we got J. T. Miller in there too. J. T. Miller is a great second line winger the center he can play like the wing he can play center he can pot you 20 some goals great utility player and you throw him in with mcdonough for that package stevie you've outdone yourself again buddy every single time fantastic trade for tampa bay the rangers i think they gave up too much like giving up jt miller to get that, having to give up JT Miller to get that package to me was a little bit too much. It might work out okay for them because Hajik is really going to be an excellent defenseman. He could be a one-two. He's that good. And Howden looks like a like Howden looks like a what they already have a lot of like Vessi and stuff like that. But he is an NHL player. If they do something really good with their first and their second, they could make this look kind of bad for Tampa Bay. But if Tampa Bay wins the Cup this year, nothing's going to change it. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42%. I just did some picks. You might want to check them out for today because last time I was five for six, and usually at the end of the season, I start nailing them, nailing them, nailing them, 80, 90% every single time. Make yourself some scratch. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell. Get yourself a vat of Jaime's and a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace because everybody loves those things. Have a great day. Lots of love to you.